Uh, my name's David Mellon, I'm the leader of Nottingham City Council. Well, originally we were going to renovate the existing car park, um, but when we found out uh, the state that it was in, it was clear that that wouldn't do and we needed to start from scratch so we knocked the car park down and obviously here we're now in the uh, completed new car park. The car park and the bus station is absolutely essential to what's going on around it. We have completed projects like the college, uh, which is already open and has students in it, uh, and the castle. So having this high quality building here is an absolute stimulus to uh, what is going to go on around it, what's already there and what's uh, going to come after it. And also going south from here to the station, it really fits in well with uh, the work that's been done on Carrington Street, the new uh, HMRC building, the renovation to the station itself and many more developments. So it's great that right at the heart of it, we have here a really high quality building that will be great for people traveling into Nottingham on the bus, people who will need to use their cars here. And obviously we also look forward to the library uh, being housed in this building too. So the basic concept behind the idea of the Broadmarsh car park and bus station was to replace the existing building that was here that become very dilapidated. When we looked at that, it gave us the opportunity to change the shape of the building. So we were able to pull the building back on Carrington Street to make that a much wider arrival point into the city. Also, many car parks that are built have car parking on the ground floor and the City Council were incredibly keen to have an active frontage all the way around the building. So now we have shops and we have offices for the coach operators, we have cafes, we have the library that create an active frontage all around the building that can, people can look and feel and touch. The scheme started off as a competitive tender um, over four years ago now. Um, it started life as a refurb scheme, um, which the council discounted on economic grounds. It then became a, um, a bus station, library, car park and retail space which is what it is today. It's been great for Galford Tri. Um, we do a lot of work um, in Leicester, Coventry, Milton Keynes, um, but this region of the East Midlands, um, we haven't had a project here for a couple of years, so it's been great to get the, the flag posted in Nottingham City Centre. Broadmarsh car park development and bus station is is part of a programme of, of works that the council have pursued over, over the last few years. It follows on from um, previous developments that we've been involved with, such as the extension of the tram and also the redevelopment of Nottingham Railway Station. So the, the, the Broadmarsh programme is, is, was focused on regenerating this part of the city um, and it included um, both the redevelopment of the shopping centre which has obviously been affected by the, the demise of Into and changes to the public realm. So from a council point of view the car park was, was a project within the programme and we managed the programme as, as, a, as an integrated programme and dealt with all the interfaces and the uh, linkages between the various projects which were quite a lot. So it's been a lengthy a lengthy exercise. Um, you know, once we procured Galliford Try, um, we had a lengthy period of um, design development where a number of issues, which led to a number of changes in the in the scope of works, took place. Um, we worked really collaborative work together in that process. I think we all understood the nature of the contract. I think we all understood our obligations, um, and that that period of engagement put us in good stead to finalise the design and then commence the construction. So in terms of when we were then develop the design of the building, one of the key things was there were so many stakeholders who would use this building. We had to find a solution that answered all of the agendas for the car park team, for the bus operators, for the coach operators, for the retailers, the Carbon 2028 targets the council have set themselves, along with all the other uses that are happening within the building. So then we set to look to create a solution that answered all of those challenges and I'm very pleased to say that's exactly what we managed to achieve. The key thing then was to start working with the construction team and their team on the delivery of the project. And one of the key pieces in this process was about moving the entrance to the car park from Collins Street onto Carrington Street. 
What that then allowed the council to do was to close Collins Street, a six lane carriageway that had been running through the city centre for so many years, with all that traffic moved out to the Southern Relief Road, and therefore giving back a huge piece of the city for public realm and amenity space for the residents of Nottingham. You know, we learned, particularly on this project from a council point of view, that um, we had to keep a close eye on other, other projects that were taking place um, as part of the wider programme. So there were some quite significant impacts that we had to manage and actually it, le it led to um, some changes in the scope of the work that Galliford Tri did to manage some of the interfaces, particularly with the public realm work um, on the outside of the building. Um, so close scrutiny of some of the interfacing projects was actually, we showed that you don't, you don't work in silos, both, but both as, 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 a, as a, a client and a contractor, but also in terms of adjacent projects. You've, all, you've got to keep an eye on it all. There's been two major challenges. First was getting out of the ground, so taking it from foundations up to superstructure. Um, we came across the Greyfriars Friary Wall. So part of the old Broad Marsh was the Friary Wall, which encircled the city. Um, we worked in tandem with the archaeologists to do far pile foundations and drainage. So working in tandem with them was a, was a challenge, um, which we got out on time and we got the superstructure up in time. Um, second major challenge was working in and amongst a pandemic. Uh, one year of the construction programme was during the pandemic, so working with all the trials and tribulations that social distancing and COVID cases brings. Well, inevitably, the pandemic was something that, that, that hadn't been faced before. People on site were, were dealing with some really, really tricky issues. But the outcome has been that, in general terms, the pandemic was, 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 was managed with, with, with minimal impact on the, well, certainly on the final output, but also on the, on the programme of activity. Everybody should get a lot of credit for, for the fact that actually it's, it's, uh, it was managed really effectively. Technology integration has been important for us at Broadmarsh. We've had full integration of field view here with client team, GT team and supply chain. So from day of inception of the project, we insisted that we all use field view together, don't use it in isolation. Using field view with our team, GT team, client team and the supply chain has allowed us to examine every issue as it comes um, and we've delivered a great quality building because of it. One example of um, technology we've used, point cloud surveying. So early days on the project, we had a big challenge in, we have a cantilever structure over an existing bridge. Um, so we use point cloud surveys to survey the existing bridge, import that into the BIM model, allow the structural engineer to model in Tecla, to then work out the cantilever down to millimetre precision and um, obviously deflection of that steel once it's loaded to make sure we didn't put any loads on the council's bridge. Collaboration was very important to the project's success. We had genuine collaboration with supply chain and client team alike. Um, Nottingham City Council, Faith from Goal, Pick Everards, Leonard Design, especially as client team, we solve problems together. Genuine collaboration through those problems were intrinsic to the project's success. Um, I think a key lesson was 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 the relationship. How, how, you, how, you, how, how good relationships are really crucial to uh, to moving projects forward. Collaboration started with um, open dialogue between both parties. So you know it could be you know the dialogue could have been about you know proposed design changes that came from from the contractor side to to improve value for money for both of us. Or, or it could be to do with um, an issue was emerging. Um, so I think that, that relationship started with that open dialogue early. One thing I want to take away and implement on future projects is the spirit of agility that we had in COVID. The amount of things that we did different and the amount of challenges that we took on was a, a daily bombardment and the agility that we showed during that was great. And that's something that I want to take on to next projects is a little bit of that spirit. So the final outcome is, is um, you know, we've got a really good, really good um, addition to, to Nottingham. You know, it's 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 exceeded what we what we hoped for. You know, now it's been built, now it's been finalised. Now we we got we refined the design, um, and we've got a really good product, um, and it really fits into that regeneration program. Um, that, that is it really going to be really important for Nottingham as it emerges from COVID. Um, so yeah, everybody, everybody involved should be really proud of, of, of what's been produced. It's great. It's nice to see the developments 
finally coming to an end. It's a great new facility. I know the team are really looking forward to having access and I think it'll be really good for the city. If we look at the project that Gallup are trying built and delivered here now in Nottingham, we can see that all of the targets we set at the beginning have been delivered. We've got a huge uh, solar farm on the roof that is fitting within the 2028 targets that the city have set themselves. We've got active frontage all around the building, so the places that people will look and see and feel and touch have shops and cafes and the library and offices in there. We've got a coach drop-off, which is great for national travellers coming and visiting the city and high quality office space to service those facilities. And therefore, if we look at the agendas the council has set, we are delighted that we've been able to deliver such a high quality project here in the centre of Nottingham. For us, it will give us a more modern facility for, this, for the team to use, but for our customers, it will, again, it's a lot more modern than the old facility. It's undercover, it's dry, it's warm, and it makes it a pleasing environment for them to wait in for any of our services. It's a significant thing. It's a symbol to the people in Nottingham that we mean business. I'm delighted with it. I think um, it's better than I could have imagined. People have commented, what's that new posh building uh, in the shop centre? And I said, it's a car park. What? It's a car park? Yeah, it's a car park and a bus station. It's going to house our library and some, uh, some retail units as well. I think the environmental credentials of this building are bang on for what we want to do about being carbon neutral by 2028. The, from the PV cells on the roof to the number of charging points there'll be in the car park. I understand it's more than anywhere else in the country in a car park and that's fantastic. Um, but it's also just a high quality finish. Uh, it's, uh, it speaks to the people of Nottingham that we value them. Uh, whether they're parking their car here or getting on the bus, they're going to do it in a smashing environment which is just high tech and uh, up to the minute uh, finish. I, I think it's brilliant, I'm really pleased.